To bring in ESPN's Tom Rinaldi, who has been tracking the latest on the scandal as well. Tom, I know you've been there all week long uh, there at Penn State, and you've seen the mood change on campus. Uh, give us a sense of what's happening, the things that we're not seeing on camera. That's a very good question, Robin. We certainly saw a very volatile reaction, which really absorbed a lot of the news media's attention, but certainly in other places of campus that we visited, just for example, next to the Joe Paterno statue outside of Beaver Stadium, where we are now. Instead, students gathered arm in arm. They sang the alma mater. They sang the fight song. They chanted the signature motto, we are Penn State. And they really wanted to stress that they didn't want the image of the university tarnished by those students who behaved and reacted the way they did in such a volatile way last night. And many were reacting because the manner in which Joe Paterno was let go after 61 years of phone call. Can you tell us what went down behind the scenes there? Sure, Robin. As our ESPN's Joe Shad reported, a source close to the Paterno family told him that Paterno was handed an envelope delivered by messenger just 15 minutes prior to the announcement that was made by the board telling him to call a phone number. He did, and he was informed you will no longer be the head football coach here at Penn State. I was speaking to another source very close to the family about 10 minutes prior to that announcement being made, Robin, and that source said Joe Paterno had heard nothing and did not know the status of his tenure. In, in fact, it turned out that he would not have the opportunity to complete his 46th season here. And the question people have been asking, Tom, and I'll ask you about Paterno's legacy. Of course, this is a shadow on it, but you talked about the statue. His wife and he have given millions to the university, not just to the athletics department, but also to the library, to education there. How will he be remembered going forward? Now, I think it's too soon to really answer that, Robin, but you know, you understand what Joe Paterno means, not only to college football and not only to the Penn State football program, but as the living, walking identity of this university and the mark that he's left upon it, having been here for more than 60 years, the head coach for four and a half decades. Obviously, no one could have foreseen that his tenure would end in this way, and it does leave a mark to some degree on that. How deep that mark, what shape it takes, only time will really be able to determine. Tom Rinaldi, as always, appreciate your time, your insight, and your reporting on this. Take care. Thank you, Tom.